Okay, you ever just gone on a call and effed up and realized later that, oh, I got it fixed, but about 20 steps longer than I needed to to get the job done right the first time? Check it. I went out on a call on uh, a Yorkie pump. I go out there and the lady's like, uh, it was cool and they're just moving in. Uh, I'm doing paint and stuff, I haven't even started moving in yet. And she's like, it was cool and off and on yesterday, today it's not coming on at all. So I show up, I look at the thermostat, the, uh, the thermostat's calling, and um, I go outside and the condenser's off. Lower air handler's blowing, go outside, the condenser's turned off. I, uh, I take off the access panel, the contactor is not closed. I uh, check the voltages coming from the thermostat inside to the defrost uh, control board. I have a uh, hot, I have a reversing valve, I have a white call. We're in good shape. Like I pull the, um, this is an older, uh, an older board. I don't remember what year model it was. But it had, it's been a week or two, it had two wired sensors. I believe an ambient temperature sensor and a, um, and uh, a tube sensor on um, pushes into the U tubes. It also had, uh, I think, I believe, high and low pressure switches. Well, the uh, the wires, the, those were not hard wired; those were plug-ons. So I pulled those, checked those; they're closed. Uh, later, I'm carrying on a discussion with somebody else, and their thermistors. I don't know if they're. I don't recall if they're thermistors, but he was saying they're thermistors. So maybe just checking to see if their their close isn't enough. But anyway. So at this point, um, I'm looking at it, pushing the contactor manually with the screwdriver, everything fires up. So I'm like, okay, we'll have a bad defrost control board. No big deal. So uh, I leave, I tell her off to get one picked up and come back. So get one, come back, schedule to come back, come back out, install the control board. Uh, go inside, turn on the thermostat, uh, come outside, the contactor's closed, flip on the power. Fire the unit up, let it warm up for 10 minutes, check the pressures, we're good to go. Bam. We're out of here. See ya. Collect, uh, collect my tools and my stuff and hit the door running. And um, the next day, get a call back, and she says that it was cooling. Uh, off and on that evening, but not consistently. The outdoor unit was not consistently being on what it should be. But it was, and she's an engineer too, so it just makes it all much more fun, right? Uh, but not consistent enough to call me back out. Now later that evening she calls back again, okay it's not coming on at all. So I'm driving out there and uh, I think, well she turns it off, turns it back on later and it cools. Turns it off, turns it on back later and it cools. And I'm thinking, I wonder, I wonder if the condenser fan motor is overheating. Hmm. And then I get out there and uh, I walk in, the thermostat's calling. 82 degrees in the house and it's set to 74 or whatever, right? And so I go out, pop the cover off the condenser, and sure enough, that contactor is wide open. And I'm like, well, let's check the motor. So I slap my hand down on top of the uh, top of the, the motor housing up on top, and that motor is hot. The uh, the sheet metal above the motor where it bolts through is hot. So I'm like, aha, that's it. But you now, of course, the, the thing is, she said it hasn't been cutting back on and cooling at all. So it's it's off. And at this point, here's here's where the fuck up comes in. Oops, sorry. Here's here's uh here's where the uh, the screw up comes in. It occurs to me that that maybe these boards are designed to uh, uh, if it goes off on high pressure, stay off until you turn the thermostat off and reset it. So, and I haven't verified this, but I'm pretty sure that's the case because obviously it hadn't come back on. Uh, the compressor was not hot. That was my, my clue that, that uh, when it goes off on high pressure, it stays off until the switches, thermostat switches reset. Because otherwise, the compressor would be hot with it, trying to, pressure would drop. You know, it'd cycle the compressor and cycle, would overheat and shut back off, yada, yada. So at this point, I'm thinking, okay, I got to change the condenser fan motor. And then I'm like, <laughs> Where the hell is the capacitor? Where's the? I know I checked the fan cap, didn't I, last time? And I'm looking, and I'm looking, and well, there's the compressor run cap. Where is the fan cap? And then I just thought, run cap bandit. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking around, and 
pulls the, the grill off the top, and sure enough, there's a, there's a cap in the cardboard box all uh, duct taped, duct taped, and stuffed up under and taped to some wires hanging down inside the, uh, the unit right below the fan blades, just barely out of the way. So I thought, well, that's probably a pop cap, you know, so I, and maybe that's all it is. Maybe we just have a, uh, a bad cap and the fan motor's running and it's overheating and shutting off. So I pull that out and the cap, I look at the cap, the uh, cap is not swollen. I uh, check the cap, seven and a half microfarads, looks good. So I'm like, and this is a, uh, this is a uh, emergency go back motor. It's a 1075 RPM, good from like one six to one third, something like that. Uh, rescue motor, emergency motor, whatever you want to call it. And it's not that old looking. So I thought, well, well maybe it's, maybe it's, that's bad, I guess. So I uh, thought, well, I've got another one on the truck. So I go get one off the truck and I come back and, um, and I'm getting mine out of the box, getting ready prepped, and I'm taking the fan blade off the other, the other one and I'm fixing to pull it. And I'm thinking, well, let me look at the data plate. So I look at the data plate and it said a third horsepower. I'm like, okay. Uh, but still something scratched my head, and I'm like, well, this is a heat pump. And a lot of heat pumps don't run 1075 motors on them. And then I looked at the fan blade, it's a big three, big, big wide three blades. And I'm like, that's a lot of, that's a lot of scoop for 1075 third horsepower. So I thought, well, you know, what time is it? I looked at my watch, and it's a little after four. I thought, well, Johnson supplies to low. So I call them and I give them the make of the model of York and or the model of York and I ask him what the condenser fan speed was. And Mike, it's 850. Well, there's your problem. And I didn't actually let this condenser fan motor cool down and start to see how high the amps were it was pulling, but obviously it's pulling way too high amps. Anyway, um, put my new 1075 back in the box go get an 825 off the truck, emergency motor, slap the puppy in, get everything wired up, put a real strap around a real cap on the inside of the housing, not hanging down, and I'll fire it all up, check everything out, looks good. No calls back for the customer. But anyway, I just thought I would throw that out there for uh, anyone else who, who might uh, run across to York and <laughs> and think you have a bad control board. Now, while I'm mentioning this, there's another brand, and I can't remember the brand. It's it's an old beater brand. Usually they're green, looks like a uh, uh, looks like a, a half oval unit, shaped about like that. Usually green, they used to have the plastic tops on them, not a, not a metal uh, cover over the fan blade. I can't recall the brand name. But anyway, they had some, uh, I want to say some heat pump versions of it, and if you took the cover off the top with a unit running, it shut off. If you put the cover on with the unit running, it would shut off. And no physical switches to see. But, and I pulled my hair out <laughs> until I called the boss first time, and he said, well, Mike, go turn the thermostat off. Turn the thermostat off, it resets whatever switch sensor is in there, and and, uh, and you were good to go. So that's, that uh, I probably should have dawned on me before I... I went and replaced the control board on this York, but uh, I just don't work on a whole whole bunch of uh, heat pump Yorks, or have not yet. I'm still in my third year doing this. Anyway, this is a long recording, hopefully at a lower frame rate, and YouTube won't crap my audio up, and I look like I'm talking Japanese, or Chinese, sorry, a Chinese uh, dub martial arts movie. Uh, comments, questions, responses? Similar experiences? <laughs> or the brand name of that, that damn unit, I can't remember. Thanks. Take care.